How did you first get involved with that series? I was called. I'm trying to remember who called me. Uh, I don't remember whether it was Lou Wasserman. I don't think that's likely. I think it was probably Jennings Lang, who was a major executive at uh, Review Productions. Uh, and he asked me if I would come, t come to Universal, where I had been before, as you know, and take over uh, General Electric Theater, which was a half-hour anthology series, and I had liked anthology series a lot because you did it, well, your, your Showtime was an anthology series. The only continuing character was the storyteller. In uh, General Electric Theater, the only continuing character was the General Electric spokesperson, a man named Ronnie Reagan. And um, I, I agreed to answer your question to the end. Uh, I liked the idea of doing GE Theater, and so I came in to do it. That was in 1959. And what, was your, what were your duties on the show? You were overseeing the whole production? Yes, I became the producer of General Electric in the full sense of the word. Uh, to ask me my duties, you're asking for a definition of what a producer does. And uh, producer is, uh, does everything. Uh, you, find, uh, you find the material, you hire a writer, you work with the writer in developing the best possible screenplay, teleplay, whatever you want to call it. You uh, work with a casting director in casting it, uh, with a, that is with a casting director, and you have hired a director to come in and work with you on the casting. Uh, you make the changes necessary or required, requested by the cast and or the director. You uh, work with the uh, uh, film editor finally in uh, the final assemblage of that picture. You hire a composer, you discuss the what the composer is going to do. You discuss what's called the spotting of the music. You, uh, after that's done, you then are in a dubbing room where you do what is essentially the final writing, and I use that loosely, the final writing of the picture. That's what a producer does. Now, there are different kinds of producers in town. Uh, most producers do what I just said. There are some producers, uh, and this has happened even more lately, uh, who are not hands-on producers. Uh, they get the title producer because they, they had bought the property and they turn it over to what they call a line producer or to a studio. Or they have, uh, they have a star that they manage and they manage to get themselves a producer credit. That's not what I call a producer.